This episode of the Boss Rush Podcast is brought to you by, well, you. If you want to support the Boss Rush Network and our family of podcasts, head on over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash boss rush network. Thanks for your continued support. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a special episode of the Boss Rush Podcast. We are reacting to the Nintendo Direct. I am your host, Corey Derrigan. Alongside me, as always, is the PC Muscle Race himself, Laron Dawkins. Mario! Mario! Did you fall off a cliff? Did anybody grab you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's popping? <laughs> Hi, Laron. I'm glad Hi. you're... I'm glad you're here. This is the first time I've ever seen Laurent excited about Nintendo in like uh, no, no, in a no, long no. in a long time. In a long it's time, it's been at least a year. It's been at least a year. In a long time, since Advance Wars, maybe. Yes. But then you yes. became a curmudgeon because it got delayed like three years. <laughs> <laughs> you damn right. Yep. Oh man. Speaking of delayed, also here is PK Power, Pat Klein. You know, I secretly saw Laurent behind the stage with Nintendo. And Leron was begging Nintendo for forgiveness. He's like, I'm sorry, I treated you so bad. Mm. Was flowers. on my knees. Was was on my knees. Leron was yep. wiping Leron was wiping his the, mouth. <laughs> was on my was on my knees with the question mark block in my hands. Mm-hmm. It's like, <laughs> will you pound this block? Oh god. <laughs> <sighs> well, I was gonna introduce our next guest, but he might dip before I get through this. Uh <laughs> We have back in the building the magic maker from the Great White North. Hello, hello. Andre Wilson is back, everybody. How's everyone going? Guardians, eyes up. Eyes up, Guardians. Yeah. Yeah, this is the wrong show, bro. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely is. It's the wrong yeah. game. It's the wrong look, game. I, oh, look, I wish you were here the other night when I was talking about it, because <laughs> I couldn't have seen three more bored people in my life when I was talking about this. Really? Oh, that sucks, so, dude. Uh but hey, well, we don't that is Destiny. for a, a different night tonight is all about N- Nintendo, the yeah. company that Leron hates. So yeah. mm-hmm. I don't know. He's talking about the company that the company I love to hate. He was talking about finger stuff earlier. Yeah. Oh, Patrick was Patrick was. But you didn't deny it. <sighs> uh, yeah, like <laughs> it's, a, it's a good thing. This isn't Nintendo Power Block because this is a very different show. It's OK. I'm recording that with Ed tomorrow, supposedly, I guess. It should be a Nintendo <laughs> Power Block episode, but whatever. We're, we're taking over. We mm. in here. Uh, yeah. So there will be a Nintendo Power Block direct recap show tomorrow. Uh, David is joining me and Ed tomorrow, which is exciting. Uh, oh, that's good. I know. I'm very excited. I. Uh, but for now, we thought we should probably get a piece of content out for this. And... Uh, they let off with uh, one of my favorite series that Nintendo does, and we haven't had one in what six or seven years. Nine, new one. Been, I think long... it's been longer than yeah. I thought I thought nine, nine years. The last nine. One, nine. Well, mm-hmm. they did the they did the remakes in twenty seventeen and twenty nineteen of the first and third game. Yeah. Um. So okay. I guess, what the was new... the last real one? Paper Jam. Paper Jam. Yeah. So Mario and Luigi Brothership was shown off. Uh, it has it it's i'm shocked i'm shocked that we're getting three mario quote-unquote rpgs in a year essentially right because uh, this is an apology from nintendo okay uh, clearly they they they're like sorry we stuffed so much of these crappy paper mario games and you know now we're going to give you what you want an actual rpg with the progression system i Man, I love Mario. I love Mario and Luigi. Uh, I didn't play mm-hmm. Paper Jam, but I've played all the rest of them. I love Dream Team on the 3DS, which is the one that takes place in Luigi's brain or whatever. I actually yeah. thought this mm-hmm. game was um, the remake of Partners in Time. That's mm-hmm. what I thought. That would be nice. Yeah, off the rip. Yeah, that would then, be. Yeah, that would have been nice. Yeah. And yeah. Then at the end, mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh, okay. I didn't expect that. I'm not mad. I don't. I, yeah. This game looks great. You know." I don't hate it. I'm just I'm coming off the heels of um. I just closed credits on the thousand year door, 
and that was kind of my first time having an RPG type Mario game, and I enjoyed it. It was great. Um, I didn't play the original, you so should. I went into this mm-hmm. game very, very blind, and I was a uh, I was thoroughly happy. I was very happy with it. Well, this... I'm glad you like it because the battle system is very similar. It's the, oh, is it perfect? It's okay, the uh, button context uh, battle system. Oh, yeah. perfect then. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, what you? I mean, what do you guys think of this trailer overall? I think the art style is really um. It's man, the art style is gorgeous. Whoa! Reminds me of the amazing. Mario cartoons. The Mario cartoons. Yeah, it's uh, it's got that kind of. S- slightly cell shaded uh you yeah. know what it reminds me of when it's zoomed out is the 3ds uh smash brothers where they had the the black lines to highlight the characters when it's kind of really zoomed out mm-hmm. yeah so mm-hmm. i like. I think it. that was the biggest thing for me was like mm-hmm. the art style really made this game kind of stand out from like all the other ones because yeah. like mm-hmm. you can have you know mario rpg sure but like i think the art style really defines if people are going to take to it or not. And I personally enjoy the art style. It's like very, it reminds you of like Looney Tunes, but like Mario. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've, I've always liked the art style of the Mario and Luigi games. Uh, and I think this is, this is a great kind of HD version of that. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. This sure. is the first one. That's not, this is the first consoles Mario and Luigi. So yeah. yeah, it's, it's nice that it's got that cartoonish blend, but it also has like that 3D effect going on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, it looks great. I love I love the scene where like Bowser is kind of flying around in the in the clown whatever thing, and the airships are flying around him. It looks really cool. I just think this is really clean, um, and I like it. I can't wait. November seventh. No, nah, was... like that thing. That thing the Mario Brothers did, where they like like com- like they, they started swirling. They became like a giant UFO, and that mm-hmm. shit was crazy. Or like the yeah. combo attack, where like Luigi mm-hmm. kicks the red shell at Mario, and then Mario kicks it at the and enemy. like spins. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was like yes. one of the coolest things. How they played soccer and they kicked it in the air and like basically kung fu it. I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. I was like, I was like, after that, I'm kind of in. I was like, that was kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, and it looks like there's a lot of different types of traversal in this game too which is cool yeah yeah uh, did we hear about it being co-op or no i can't I doubt it so. that's what i'm wondering that's what i'm wondering so. I, I feel like i feel it like is. it's yeah i feel like it's just gonna be like a, your your standard rpg so it's like single player that's fair it'd be cool though if it was like local co-op it, but I mean, it would yeah. it would mm-hmm. be cool because it because like i would buy i would buy two copies one for me and one for my boyfriend yeah no for sure for sure that'd be cool because like it's like one person could play as luigi and like do their own actions and then one person can play as mario but i digress yeah i like i like the cleverness of the title because one it evokes that sense of fellowship between mario and luigi Mm -hmm. but it also is because the main transportation is a ship Mm -hmm. yeah 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 i noticed that play on like a double entendre yep yeah i like it uh, so after that, they went into the they went into the World Championship NES edition. Um, my Best Buy still has this pre order available. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you know. The more and more I see this, the more I'm the more I'm like, man, should I get this? <laughs> this game? Because why would really, you get it? I wasn't really excited about it when it when when it was first announced and everything. But it's something about just. It's something just about like just just doing like the the speed runs and stuff like uh, this is actual Nintendo spirit of like the new of the yeah. new age. Honestly, it's yeah. it's the speed run start. You know, and it's not you're not even speed running the full game. Just speed running like the like the most challenging or the most classic parts yeah. of like all these classic games. This yeah. game reminds me of the remix games that were on the yeah. Wii and yeah. also the mm-hmm. 3ds. Like yeah, it, it's that, but you know not as like they just don't not as creative i guess yeah mm-hmm. but it's it still intrigues me and it's it's i pre-ordered the collector's edition so yeah hey. with the gold with the cartridge the gold cartridge yep yeah japan gets a trophy i know <laughs> uh speaking of trophies uh the next game didn't really feel like it deserved one but i don't know anything about fairy tale so uh fairy tale 2 a a an anime an anime ass jrpg um i know so. the i know the anime is good i will yeah. say and this might be a hot take this game <laughs> looks like it struggles a bit 
like like i'm not trying to be rude but like a bit for, <laughs> I, I wasn't trying to be that mean but like seeing Andre, it, you I, can be you can be rude about nintendo in this show <laughs> oh thank god okay this game looked like ass yeah, like, I was it, like, I was yeah, like, wolf, like, yeah, I was, I was not impressed. Yeah, yeah, and and I just feel like the switch, like we all know, this is kind of the last hoorah for the switch. This and is I feel it. like, yeah, I feel like games are really starting to be like, okay, look, like we need a a better operating system because we are struggling to kind See, of. You s- you say that, but when we get to the end, I'm like, I have no idea how this game is running on the switch. I have no idea how that game oh i know i know yeah and we will talk about that but even games like hogwarts and the batman arkham series i'm like do you understand the plethora of like game that 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 game is compared to the switch like there are games Uh that i that i see on the switch but i'm like this should not be on here like this should not be a switch game (laughs) yeah hogwarts legacy i played like 10 hours of it on switch one good came out and it's dude i can't believe that game is running i also played the witcher 3 on switch though and Damn, i can't that's, believe that that's crazy <laughs> i can't i can't believe that game was running as well as it was so uh it looks it looks ugly as hell on the tv but when you're playing in handheld mode it's like clearly if you want to play it in handheld mode plus i had cross save with the pc version and now it has cross save oh with did it version. oh that's a huge w then yeah okay. now it has cross save with all versions because cd project has the cd project cloud thing whatever yeah so was, okay that's a system. big big w then but yeah but just yeah. um again i know the anime is cool but this game looked bad yeah it looks rough yeah you can't really <sighs> anime like adaption to video games mm-hmm. i i don't can't think of one that's like absolutely stellar dragon ball fighters i think would be the only one i could think of I was going to say, like, Naruto Ultimate Storm, like, the fighting one, but that's yeah. about it. So, all right, technically the fighting ones. And now that you mentioned Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Kakarot was actually pretty pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the next game, though, is a game that I have been begging for on the Switch for five years, it feels like. Mistwalkers Fantasian is finally getting a home console release. Okay, oh. see mm-hmm. this answers this answers questions right here because I was like when I heard Hironobu Sakaguchi I was like wait. Yeah. Isn't he retired? I, no, I, I he no. left Square to do Mistwalker. He did Well, yeah, did but Blue, then but he then did Blue Mist- Dragon, he did well, Lost I, Odyssey. I know, I know he that, did, but I'm uh Last Story and then this was their they they did two mobile games in between mm-hmm. The Last Story and this game. Yeah, he, well, no, he's I, primarily well, no, been mobile. Yeah. Okay, so he's okay. So that's where he's been. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. because that's why, like, like after after Mistwalker, I was like, where did he go? You know, well, still, Mist- still Mistwalker. Yeah. This is okay, a Mistwalker see. game. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I, well, apparently it's a it's a port, right? Yeah, it's a port of the mm-hmm. iPhone. It's a well, it's an Apple port Arcade slash update updated version to the apple arcade version of yeah the-, the link that we sent it says ported over from apple arcade fantasian is on its way to switch another platform soon so this so yeah. i assume this wasn't a mobile game at some point it it is it's on apple arcade right now okay, yeah that's yeah. the only place lie, you can get it though this game did not look good to me i don't know anything about it i might just have to kind of play a demo just to see let me tell you about it Okay, so every single um, environment in this game yeah. is a physical set that they took thousands of pictures of and imported those pictures into the. Really, they're all dioramas, and mm-hmm. so they wanted that feel of like old school RPG set in like a real space. Mm-hmm. And so, like all of the woods and stuff, they're all like those little miniature trees that you see and stuff. Like it's, I it's, might try it just for that because that sounds like it'd be really cool to see. It's I I cannot wait for this game. I'm also a really huge Lost Odyssey fan, and uh, that's fair. Uh, you know, Mist Walker, and I also like like the Last Story. I know that that has mixed feelings, but it was like one of the only Wii games I played all the way through. <laughs> mm. I didn't get much of a chance to play Last Story, so I'm kind of kind of sad about that. Um, but I am I looking forward to this. This anything you know. Uh, Sakaguchi and Umatsu 
Mm-hmm. You know, you, you don't need to ask me twice. Yeah. The battle system is very clearly meant for touchscreens, though. If you see, like, they are lining up those curved shots and stuff, it very much feels like it's made for a touchscreen. Mm-hmm. Uh, that makes sense. But it really does have, like, a last the last story kind of feel the characters do, at least. Mm-hmm. Uh, so no definitive release date on that. It's coming in holiday 2024. I imagine that November time spot somewhere. Um, so I'm... I, I'm very excited for this game. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie. I It might suck. I don't know. And I refuse to play it on phones. I it's <laughs> I don't think it's yeah. going to be like that 8.0. Or I don't think it's going to get any higher than like an 8.0. But I'm still hyped it, about it. It's going to be in that realm of like I Am Satsuna and Lost Sphere. It's probably that review range. Mm-hmm. Yeah, th- This game was meant for people who had the appreciation for the old school final fantasies and just want to live that nostalgia of having those guys together again. Yeah. Oh man. I was really, I was really hoping because I saw rumors of like lost odyssey might be here and I was like, Oh my God. <laughs> but I was mm-hmm. failed. Speaking of failing, uh, they showed Nintendo switch sports here and they're adding basketball with motion controls. Okay. So, wait, um, wait, wait, this actually looks like it, it could be fun. Let's just, <laughs> Hang on. Okay. This actually, <laughs> personally, this looked like it'd be really fun. I'm, I'm like, I'm not even going to lie. I was like, okay, I'm kind of in. Well, it. Andre, it's been nice uh, seeing you today. Um, I'll see you in six <laughs> yeah. months when I forget that we had this conversation. <laughs> Get out. Believe. Uh, man, Nintendo Nintendo Switch Sports kind of just fizzled out, didn't it? Damn. High key, kind of, yeah. Yeah. It like I awesome. like I sometimes forget it's a thing, and then yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, that's yeah. right. There's a sports camera. I have it. I have it, they, I, I have it in that giant ass box. It's sitting back there on my shelf. It's like this big, and I'm like, oh yeah, I don't want to get that fucking sleeve out to put my Joy-Con in there. Yeah, no, that's completely <sighs> fair. So, I don't know. The next game looks really cool. I thought of you instantly when I saw this, Pat. This looks like a pad ass game. Yeah, uh, me Mio. Uh, the uh, the lost memories, yeah, or sorry, memories in orbit. Sorry, yeah, uh, no, that orbit. art style is absolutely gorgeous. Like it is, yeah. It I saw like the, uh, like the like the like the pencil ink or whatever, like the mm-hmm. like the like the pencil drawing stuff. Yeah, I know it, it's Hollow Knight, but not with the bugs. Is what it reminds me of. It it reminds me of uh like with the hair, like the hair but the hair kind of clinging system and like the swinging and stuff reminds me mm-hmm. of specter of torment the shovel knight expansion interesting it really yeah. reminds me of that it, it looks awesome i can't wait for that actually okay. actually i was like i when i was looking at it i was like man like this is this is so giving me um gravity rush vibes yeah i kind of it kind of yeah i can see i can see that kind of the main character kind of reminds me of cat a little bit yeah yeah, yeah i can totally see that 2025 though Hmm. Yeah, sad. Interesting. Uh, we've already got three titles for 2025, though. True. This, mm-hmm. this, you know, and uh, we'll get to the rest later, I guess. Um, so then they go through this weird array of cartoony classic games. So Disney Illusion Island that came out last year is getting a free update. Um, there's new missions and new puzzles to do. I don't know uh, if that's enough to bring me into the game again. Yeah, yeah. I know. I mean, this this feels like if you haven't picked the game up, this is a nice oh nice surprise to add, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they had Hello Kitty Island Adventure, which the only thing I could think of was the South Park Warcraft episode when I saw this. Because um, <laughs> <laughs> butter third plays. party uh, Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah, it's very yeah I feel like this is a very cozy game, like like for those cozy gamers that have like a whole. Set up where they sit on like a giant beanbag chair in the ca- in the in the corner with their candles and stuff. I feel like this is a a cozy gamer game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then we had the Looney Tunes, not Space Jam, um, plus tennis. <laughs> you sound you sound so, uh, you sound so salty. About, I sound so salty about the the not Space Jam part. I I just I fucking hate the Looney Tunes, man. But <laughs> yeah, Lola, what? you they love Lola, and she was in it. Why do you hate the Looney Tunes? They, they just they all suck, man. 
The first Space Jam was like w- one I, of the best I, movies. I love Space Jam. I just think like, especially like, man, this game looks so ugly. This like, game looks. It rough. does look ugly. It is. Yeah, it, <laughs> it looks bad. How they haven't adopted or adapted, pardon me, a Space Jam type basketball game for Looney Tunes is they crazy. They oh, did. they did. They it was free for like a year on Xbox when the movie came out. Was it what? good? No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. See you but there. Yeah, yeah. It. it was more of like a hey, there's some basketball in this, but there's also like some Shaq Fu side scrolling BS in here. Oh, lame, dude. Just give me like a full blown like NBA 2K mm-hmm. tune game. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> For me, I think the problem with these type of games is that when you focus on more than one sport, mm-hmm. it you're yeah. doing it in ju- no justice because yeah you. It, it's going to be shallow gameplay for all four sports. Yeah, you yeah, like lose true. the essence of the game as a whole. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyways, Looney Tunes suck. It's, this game looks ugly. Moving on. Uh, speaking <laughs> of ugly, there's also an update to Among Us, which leaked this Nintendo Direct last week. So, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what I was saying to the guys. I'm like, I think this actually got like leaked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, thanks, Among Us, for leaking this Direct. Um. So to be fair, the it wasn't next... that hard to guess when this direct was going to happen. I mean, I figured it was going to be this week anyway because Nintendo always goes last, and they always go the week after Summer Game Fest is over. So, like, mm-hmm. you know, but their directs are usually on like a Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, except uh, for E three week, it's a Tuesday. Yeah, but E three doesn't exist anymore. I was about it's... to say, what's E three? <laughs> That was back in the day. Back in my day, we had a whole the whole event for gaming. They had things. They had famous uh, people. Famous people. They had booth babes, and yeah. all the swag that you could carry. Mm-hmm. Gaming mattered back then. Uh, and then the next game they showed off that was like the. <laughs> I don't understand. This is like a mix between like a farming sim and pokemon and pikmin all in one game uh it's called what is it called farm and farmagia yeah is that what it's called Farma- yep it i i don't know <laughs> it, it's weird uh anybody interested in this 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 thing it looks like, like you <laughs> farm and you farm plants and they become animals or something oh this game like. was this game was out of pocket i'll tell you that right now this if game was... a, if there's a demo for this i will try it out because i don't know something about the artwork and just something about the way like if the uh if the if the gameplay is how like the video showcased it and how it looked like it's worth a look for me and y'all y'all know me like i don't take i don't take farming farming games seriously at all but there's i don't know something i guess magical about this Pun be fair at least it's made by the developers of uh or the publishers of story of seasons so Mm -hmm. but yeah this this game gets like high points for creativity yeah yeah and that goes into the one one of the big ones the next game which i called three weeks ago on nintendo pal block that they were going to announce this donkey kong country returns hd is coming to nintendo switch and i cannot wait because this game was awesome this game is my favorite DK game. Yeah, I think awesome. I might try this because I didn't try. Is it is it Tropical Freeze or this one? Mm-hmm. So yeah. I yep. might I might try this one. This one's awesome. This one's I this one's better than Tropical Freeze in my opinion. Um, I played it on the Wii and I liked it. And then mm-hmm. when I I really loved it on the 3DS. Is okay. I okay. Uh, I mean, I beat it on the I beat it on the Wii, but I like a hundred tried to hundred percent it on the 3DS. Oh, so uh, you, you were him on yeah. the 3DS. Yeah. Got, okay, okay. Bet, yeah. bet. Yep. Oh, and I hated the 3DS, so that tells you how good this game is. Oh, damn. You were like, I, I, I don't want to do this, but I'm doing it for you, DK. <laughs> <laughs> I no, that I second that. This game is like a must play for DK, and I hope that we finally get a third one here soon. I think I think they're prepping us for a third game on the next system because Donkey Kong has been rumored for so long. Mm-hmm. And like what was it like two or three years ago the italian nintendo account teased a third game and then they pulled the tweet down um well 
if Retro's almost done with uh, one of the games that they're making right now, then they can go back. Well, Retro supposedly has like two or three games either ready or in development. So uh, that Star Fox Grand Prix game is supposedly still sitting on their shelf, too. Star Fox Grand Prix? Yeah. Like mm. a racing game? No. It, it's complicated, sort okay. of. But it's more of like a... I don't really know how to describe it. Okay. You'll have to look it up, uh, the description, because yeah. it's like really hard to des- describe if you're not looking at the description okay. of the game. Uh, th- um, that's fair. Yeah, it's not really a racing ga- game. It's like, a, yeah, it's it's strange. The only Star Fox game that I want, and I made some predictions for uh, the direct. If anyone here has played Star Fox Adventures on the mm-hmm. GameCube, mm-hmm. I would pay so much goddamn money for that game to come I, back. I loved that game. I actually pre- on Pow Block when we did our predictions, I actually had Star Fox Adventures HD on my list. Dude, it was such a great game and like it was it was it was fun. The story was great. Tricky was one of the best mm-hmm. features of the game cuz you could mm-hmm. throw a ball and then he and like you could play fetch. And dude, it was it was so much fun. Star yes, Fox yeah. Adventures was a lot of fun. You know, you could have just played Nintendo Dogs if you wanted to play Fetch. Um, yeah, but I'm a fox and he's a Triceratops. That's just so out mm-hmm. of pocket, but it worked. <laughs> then um, it introduced Fox's love of his life, and then it got complicated, and she started banging uh, his rival. and Wolf. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the so assault, assault story? Very freaking weird. Assault mm-hmm. of the heart. I mean that that game went dark. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No kidding. <laughs> I'm uh going back to Donkey Kong though. I if if you didn't play it on the Wii or played on the 3DS, I highly recommend picking up DK uh returns. It's awesome. Okay. I'll definitely so keep good. it on the list of uh games to try. Yeah. Now, however, they didn't mention any added bonuses to this one, mm-hmm. right? It it's just strictly a port. It's well, it's, it's an HD now. Well, an that, HD port of the 3DS. That's a lot of work. <laughs> it's four times the pixels. <laughs> There's when Nintendo usually does a How port, they throw quality of life changes here to make I'm it sh- easier sure for the newer be. generation. I'm sure there'll be some quality of life changes, but I'm sure there will be. Like, I'm sure there will be a Funky an, Kong mode. I'm sure there will be two or more directs Kong before mode. this game comes out, and they will detail it. It. No. No. I don't know. All right, guys, we moved into the they finally re-revealed Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake, and then they announced one and two, which are coming after three for some reason. Well, (laughs) Well, they said it makes sense to play three, two and then one. And I was like, okay, so it's Star Wars. then. Wait, why? Yeah. okay. three is a prequel to one and a sequel to one. So that's why it makes sense to play three first. And then one, then two. Okay. Oh. See, thank you, Patrick. That okay. makes all, okay. that makes all yeah. the Why did they call it three? Why didn't they call it zero? God, because they made it after thing all over again. <laughs> they made it after. Well, uh. the the interesting thing about three is you didn't realize it was in the same area until later on in the game. Wow, well, spoilers! One of those games. Mm-hmm. Damn it! You spoiled it. <laughs> spoiled a forty-year-old game, Pat. How dare you? Damn, the Elysian <laughs> trilogy. Canceled. <laughs> this These game are direct sequels though. to each other. Oh my god. It does look it does look good. Like I mean, like I am so I don't know, like uh I haven't taken Dragon Quest seriously. Like I mean, like I I I was playing this shit back when it was Dragon Warrior. Uh, you know, so I'm not sure if I can get back into it is the problem. Sure you can. I believe in you. You know, I, I know. love like, it's it's RPG, oh. and you know, you guys know, I'm like, I'm a, I'm a hard sell on RPGs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, here's what, <laughs> as beautiful as the game is, Dragon Quest 1 and 2 need some quality of life improvements, because those games were grindy as hell. I'm, sh- I'm sure there will be. <laughs> I think yeah. Square's been really good when they re-release older games. They add, like, you mm-hmm. know, those, uh, I don't know. 
easy modes, I guess you would call them, but you know, yeah. like the story uh, mode versions. Uh, yeah, it would need an easy mode. mode. It, the first game definitely needs some more direction. Like mm-hmm. that game was almost like impossible unless you just went out exploring and just happened to land in the right spot at the right time. Otherwise, mm-hmm. like, oh, you didn't have the key for this, so go right to the other side of the world. And mm-hmm. it, yeah. it, I'm hoping that it gets more than just a graphical update. That's yeah. fair. Yeah, it looks great though. I'm oh, yeah. like, I, I had zero interest in this, and now that I watch it, I'm like, I'm kind of like, <laughs> I'm into in. it. Yeah, I'm in. Damn it, I'm in. Uh, you know what I'm not in for though, guys. Funko Fusion. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, fuck I, I, next. I, I I hate Funko Pops, man. I have I have four Funko Pops, um, and I hate them. Uh, I have one. What I have a few, but they're like Star Wars and anime, and that's it. Mm-hmm. I have two. I have a claptrap. And I have Persona 5 Joker, but it's a Chase edition, so he doesn't have his mask on. Oh, I hate you. I want that one so badly. Oh, God. <laughs> I have I have oh. two two figments from Walt Disney World. I have a Baby Groot. I have a Wreck-It Ralph, and I have two Kingdom Hearts ones. I have no pops. Persona 5 is like my favorite game ever, or like one of. Joker is like my favorite actually, protagonist I lo- ever. He's so Actually, good. I lie. I, I I just lied because I have I have the Hunter Alpha from Resident Evil. Uh, from from Resident Evil. Mm. Is that it? Oh wait, I also have girls. That's the from, only. That's uh, the only one Witcher I have. Like uh, like I thought someone was gonna. I thought someone was gonna gift me all the uh, the ones from Monster Hunter because there was like there was like four from Monster Hunter stories. Uh, mm. but but uh, but somehow like they played me. You know, it was like oh sorry, I can't get him. Mm. Like, well, why did you tell me you were gonna get him? What a loser. Exactly. Yeah. Pops or amiibos? Pops. I didn't I've got all the amiibos. I've got all the Monster Hunter Story amiibos. I've got them. I bought those myself. I actually I imported those. Yeah, I didn't realize they made pops for the uh, stories. They did. Speaking of stories, we got a uh, a story trailer for Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, which is out in a couple days next week, somewhere Wait. in there. Yeah, I think next Thursday. They like to release these on Thursdays now. Yeah. Why? Why do they keep changing it? (laughs) Well, as someone who used to ship my games, I would appreciate it because they never seem to come on Friday. That's fair. But now I go and just pick up the game because I don't want to wait. And Nintendo doesn't take online pre-orders anymore, apparently. (laughs) Really? That's so odd. Yeah. Um, starting with Paper Mario, and you can you can here's the thing like for Best Buy you can pre order online but you have to pick up in store, and you can't do car side pickup. You have to go in the store and get it. <laughs> mine offers car side. No, mine. So you can choose car side pickup. Mm-hmm. But when I got to my Best Buy, the last two times I ordered a Nintendo physical game, it said car side pickup is not available for this item. Please go in the store. Fair. Maybe they only have three people in the store. No, there were like a hundred people. They were all standing at the security counter talking about fingering each other's buttholes or something. I don't know what they were doing. Yeah, my best buy. Anytime I go in there and ask where something is, I get directed to like a different aisle, and I'm like, does anyone <laughs> even know like what's what here? Like every, it never fails. Never fails. Anytime I go in there and someone's like. Do you need a hand? I'm like, I'm good. I'm like, I could find it. <laughs> I am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like the, like the guys in Best Buy, they, they basically know, like, I know where everything in the store is at. So they don't even ask me questions anymore. That's yeah. fair. Uh, I'm excited for Luigi's Mansion 2, though. I, I enjoyed 2 when I played it on the 3DS, but mm-hmm. I would rather play it not on the 3DS. I would fair. consider 2 the best. Yeah. It's got the most variety, I think, mm-hmm. um, because there's five mansions to go through and they're all different. Yeah. And it's cool. Well, three, three had a lot of variety, too, but that was just weird because it's all in one building. Yeah. But each floor is like themed. Yeah. But the Guiji stuff was weird. That was weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which automatically takes it down a point for me. <laughs> 
Uh, all right. So after the Luigi's Mansion uh, trailer, we have the new Denpa men. Oh, skip. Pass. 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 What is this yeah. thing? I'm I'll scared. Skip. I'm scared well, of well, that thing. Well, you guys like the Nintendo aficionados. It says new Denpa Men, so that means there was a Denpa Men. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a Denpa Men. I don't, I don't know what it is. Imagine Pokemon meets Animal Crossing, but weird. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, did they just do something? They just remix like, 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 was what, what was that? The the Metopia or whatever that game was. That's I know was. exactly what you're talking about, and yeah, that's yeah. I feel <laughs> like this is what it kind of looks like, and I'm like, this is the weirdest looking game out of the entire dark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's uh not great, but the next game looks great. Metal Slug Attack Reloaded. Hell yeah! More Metal yes. Slugs. I'm okay with me- yes. more metal slug. You can't go wrong. Cannot go wrong. How do you? How do you, Leron? I feel like you're a big metal slug person for some reason. I am. Like, do you guys? Do you guys know the amount of quarters this game like robbed from my ass back in the day? No, oh please tell me. God, too much. Like, I could have bought a damn cabinet by this point. <laughs> like, I like. I remember. I remember like just blowing, blowing like a wallet's full of cash, like playing like metal slug games. Uh, really? until, uh, until, until, until it just got to the point where I was like, you know, when, when I started coming out on, on PlayStation on, on the PS one, that's when I started really just like, I'm, I'm done going to the arcade playing these damn games. That's fair. It's cool though. Cause that game's available now. Like it's, you can just go buy it now. Yep. Available, available today. There's your shadow uh, drop. Yep. And, uh, that also goes into another slew of classic games. Uh, we got two. Oh. Uh, Game Boy Advance games in A Link to the Past Four Swords. Yes, sir. We got the best Metroid game, in my opinion, Metroid Zero Mission. Mm-hmm. I am actually very addicted to it right now. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we got the old uh, new expansion pack uh, download file called. Here, here we go. <coughs> mm-hmm. Nintendo Switch Online plus expansion pack, Nintendo 64, mature 17 plus. What does that even mean, though? Uh, Apparently, you have to be 17 or older to actually get the games. What? Yeah. What games? I just want to know. It's Turok and Perfect Dark. What are the two games? 17 plus, though. I don't understand. Because there's blood. yeah. Oh, and okay, there, that yeah. Now and that was back. Yeah. That was back. That was back when Nintendo still thought stuff like that was racy. Yeah, but oh, they okay. have Golden Eye is on the other one though. Like you that think was T Golden... for teen. Yeah, but Golden Eye like... doesn't have yeah, blood. Though. Yeah, that's the kicker. Yeah. Golden Eye was T. Uh, I didn't. So, I... Turok and Perfect Dark were M. Yeah, shooting shooting aliens and dinosaurs is rated M for mature, mature but shooting people is T for teen. Good. Yeah, that makes sense. Good. It, to know, it's okay. Good to know were... we're all in the right place. No. They were Russians. It was okay. I w- will say it's cool to have both of those games back because yeah. I did play Turok and Perfect Dark a lot. So I love Turok, the yeah. first one. Turok was like the first. Like I'd say Turok was like the precursor of Dino Crisis. If anyone knows what that game is, oh, uh, like Dino how, Crisis. Wait, how I think Turok, I think Dino Crisis, Turok, was, out Dino Crisis was out first. Yeah, I think Dino Crisis might have been first. Really? Okay, yeah, pardon yeah. me. Dino, pardon yeah, because Dino, Cri- Dino Crisis was Maybe not released, Canada, but after RE2. Maybe Dino Crisis Canada. was yeah, first. A, then. maybe not in Canada, and B, just not in my life. So I played Turok first. So sorry. <laughs> Turok <laughs> was the precursor for me for Dino Crisis. There you go. I fixed my statement. Let's I played that first. Uh... Did you see Capcom put out that serv- the most requested game is a new Dino Crisis from them. Yeah, yeah. Dino Crisis I mean, is a great game, though. Let's be honest. Here. It is. I mean, I don't disagree. I I think a new Dino Crisis would kill right now. Yeah, or even with, just a, or just a remake of the of the original. Especially with the way that re- the Resident Evil remakes are going. Like, yeah, just make it in the style of that. I think people would flip out. Oh, remember dude, when anyway. everybody thought that Exo Primal was the new Dino Crisis because yeah, of the chick with the red like, hair. oh my god, like like Capcom, really? <gasps> guys, uh, guys, what? Turok came out first. Turok came out two years before Dino Crisis. For real? Yep. Nineteen ninety seven versus ninety nine. F both of you. 
I apologize. <laughs> Andre was right for once. Just give it to me. Just as one time, mm-hmm. just give it to me. Broken clock is right twice a day. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm really excited to play some Zero Mission though. I I'm excited. I'm is really Zero excited. Mission the first one? It's a like, remake of the a, first it's one. It's a remake of the first Metroid game. Yeah. Okay. Plus it adds and, and, it. Go ahead, Lauren. Oh, I was gonna say, in all seriousness, is the only one you honestly need to play. Like, yeah. if you if you're gonna play Metroid or Zero Mission, just play Zero Mission. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's also like way smoother and cleaner and feels better and. Oh, yeah. It still okay. feels yeah. smooth. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Just, okay. On the okay. Switch. Yeah. Okay, oh, that in mind. Metroid Zero Mission so good. Uh, and then we get yeah, I into. The, I was telling these guys like before before we started recording. I was like, uh, I was like, zero zero mission. Honestly, is the Metroid game that knocked Super Metroid off the pedestal for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think it's great. Another game, another anime game, Phantom Brave: The Lost Hero. Uh, this looks like some sort of NIS. It's a sequel to Phantom Brave. Um, that was a Disgaea style game like it was the mm-hmm. third game i think that the creators of disgaea made i i thought this was disgaea at first exact uh, same people uh-huh so. yes it's, yeah it's the exact same team yeah 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 the idea is though you trap you you have the souls of your soldiers and you have to trap them into objects mm-hmm. and that gives mm-hmm. them like what their stats yeah all right Laurent. All right, we're going in, going into the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom collection. Yo, when I tell you, when I tell you, this shit blew my mind. This oh shit, my god! I, I, I was like, "Hello!" Like you know, when I heard just... the "I'm gonna take you for a ride," I was like, "Oh boys, we're do- we're back. We are, yeah, man, we are I'm back, t- baby. We are Let back." T- so there are what twelve eight games in this collection there are uh where's the list x-men children of the atom marvel superheroes excited for that x-men versus versus street Street fighter Fighter. marvel superheroes versus street fighters marvel's capcom class of superheroes marvel's Capcom 2 age of heroes and the punisher yes the punisher is the only one that seems out of place here it was like it was like why didn't you just give us like the 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 arcade cabinet x-men game instead of punisher yeah Right. <laughs> I'm or like if you're gonna give us the Punisher, give us the arcade X Men game and the Captain America game. Like if you're yeah. gonna add those, like <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Except those are Konami and these are all Capcom games. Mm-hmm. This though oh, yeah, looks yeah, like it's right. just you're, gonna you're be right. like hours of fun. Like this is gonna be hours and hours of just like straight fun. Look, man. Yeah. If Konami doesn't come out with some sort of Marvel side scrolling arcade beat 'em up thing soon now. I'm gonna be you know, it, you know, it's crazy. Disney will throw the money at them. That's the crazy part. I know Disney I know. will throw the money at them. I know. I mean, <laughs> the way the way want... look, the way Disney has been releasing all these old games like the they re-released all those like 90s Super Nintendo games and Genesis games and DuckTales and mm-hmm. man, where's the way forward DuckTales game, by the way, on on something like this? Shock right? about that forward. So, but man. I can't wait. I can't wait to play some X Men vs Street Fighter or some Children of the Atom. Let me tell you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh man. Hands thrown. Can't wait. Look, I look. I like Marvel vs Capcom just as much as the next guy, but man, X Men vs Street Fighter is like, oh, yeah, top just, tier. Just, just, oh. just more. Just more quarters I lost oh, to, man, in I, arcades. Oh man, that game's gonna give me a third kid. Let me tell you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> get that surgery. uh then we went into a little bit of a downer super mario party jamboree look downer i like mario party but this is the third one on this console now okay you should have just done you should have done dlc for the last one that uh, people are saying that they didn't support the last one i know i haven't played a mario history i haven't played a mario party game in years and this one actually looks like it's a lot of fun so yeah i know right yeah like i i think I don't know. I think Nintendo's on to something because I've never liked the Mario Party game until like the the last Mario Party came out on the Switch. Twenty honestly, players online. Sorry, t- 
20 players online, I just have to say, is crazy. Oh my god, that's gonna be chaos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I, it, I get I get why they made it. I just feel that the Super Mario Party that they released before it was too much kinda, because that was supposed oh, to be the history much. of Mario Party. That was mm-hmm. all of the mini games. That was classic maps, and they were supposed to add more maps mm-hmm. as DLC, but instead Maybe. they just made this new one. Mm-hmm. So they basically just edged this, is what you're saying. Man, they yeah. could have done like a man. They could have had so many cool maps, man. Remade. They could have gone into you, game. You guys the are you maps. guys are right about that. You guys are right about that part. You know, but there I don't are know five about. maps. I I could understand them not supporting it if there were like eight or ten maps, but there were only five maps on that. It was like, come on, come on, guys, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's more maps on the new one, and that's without adding the two maps from the previous games. Right. Man. All right, Andre. You ready? You ready to be excited for me with me? You ready to be excited with me? We're getting a new Zelda game. Yes, sir. Now in the Link's Awakening art style. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yo, what makes, you think, what, makes you think, what makes you think Andre is the only person that's going to be excited with you? Because I shit? see Andre's Instagram videos about Zelda every five. Brother, seconds. I'm wearing a shirt that has Link on it. All right, I am yeah. Link. Yo, we Patrick and I will fight you guys. Like, do do not start today. Do I just, not start. I'm trying. To, I'm just. I'm just in, including our guest, Leron. Jesus. Yeah, stop being selfish, dude. God. Let me have what this. I'm here too. What I'm here too. Mm-hmm. No, this game, I I made a little video today on my thoughts, and I said I'm you excited. Did? Where can I we did. find that? On my Instagram, and it is at a n n d r e underscore w i l s o n, and I, I'm on Threads too. So anyway, I digress. I am a huge Zelda fan. I have been looking forward to a new Zelda game. My only kicker is I have to play this game to give it a solid answer. I'm not saying it looks bad. I just I want to play it first. That's it. It looks I'm really sorry. cool. I'm sorry. This is this is a beautiful, gorgeous game in the in the style of the Link's Awakening remake. I'm mm-hmm. I'm all on board. I'm all on board. Day one mm-hmm. get. Day one get. Oh, it easy day one get. But of course it's day one get. My collector's edition. My thing is I was not a big I'm, link. I'm actually, so, glad. Link's awakening I'm actually fan. glad there's no link no uh no no deluxe edition or collector's edition. I'm glad for that. Have, I am tired of spending money. I uh I have to say the Link's Awakening Collector's Edition was pretty disappointing. And I ended up importing the Game Boy Steelbook. Uh, oh that's so cool the yeah. one that did not come to america yeah i mean i'm not paying a hundred look i'm not paying 150 dollars for a game and an art book that's like mm-hmm. this big i'm sorry i'm sorry i love Link's awakening mm-hmm. i have my original Link's awakening complete inbox on my shelf back there flex for, for the original mm-hmm. game boy and it's like well it's actually the game boy color version but whatever uh flex. but i am not paying for that art book sorry i debated i actually debated because i just got rid of a bunch of stuff and i'm like man what collector's editions could i get oh i have the breath of the wild one i should get the tears of the kingdom and the Link's awakening one got the tears of the kingdom one i was like oh wait i forgot i'm not paying 150 dollars for an art book i sat in line for an hour and a half just to get that and go home Mm. i mean that's fair i was i mean i was juiced when that came out, and I think that's the last collector's edition I've ever bought in for a game was like that one. So, all right, guys, I have to ask a question though because this is the official first Legend of Zelda game where you play as Zelda. Are you excited about that? Yes, I am. Yes, yes, yes. yes. cool. Yes, I think the way they've implemented this this uh, wand, the tri wand, is that what it's called? The tri rod. Tri rod. Tri rod. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, I think it's cool. I think the duplication of items is cool. I think you can probably do a lot of cool stuff with uh, capturing enemies and releasing different types of enemies to kind of solve different, you know, puzzles. Yeah, and yeah. I, I think it, it looks has cool. the it, it looks it has puzzle the heavy. tears. It, it has the tears of the kingdom, like where you can use anything to solve a puzzle. 
that's the kind of vibe I get. Like you yeah. could how how it showed um the character stacking beds and just mm-hmm. using the beds mm-hmm. as like stairs, right? So like Pat just said, very puzzle heavy. And like Corey said, how if you come across a group of like mobs, you can be like, oh, like I have the the echoes of these two these two bokoblins. I'm just gonna pop them out and they'll fight for me. I'm interested to see how bosses are gonna be like if you have to use your arsenal of mm-hmm of baddies to defeat a boss or if they're over like a puzzle boss again i'm looking forward to it i want to play it first to kind of to kind of get a feel for it but the fact that we are zelda and not link i think is a huge w only because like link's cool links like link is the man link is kind of quote the face of legend of zelda but uh i am i'm i'm happy you're linked out you're linked out kind of kind of i am i'm happy this is the year that like the 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 latest up yeah 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 the the nintendo matriarchs are are going in this year yeah the uh the princesses are now like look Mm -hmm. i don't need rescuing i got this right so first we got where's my badass where's my badass daisy game (laughs) Right. Okay. Let's relax a little bit. Uh, okay, the definitive, the the, the definitive uh, major arcs. Because <laughs> now I think about it, the theme, the theme of this uh of this uh direct might as well have been Nintendo matriarchs. Because I mean, like, there's there's more down the pipe coming. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. The the we have one more. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so this this game looks cool. I wonder if this is a test bed to see if a a. I don't want to say a proper Zelda game because this is clearly a proper Zelda game, but you know, like the next if they go back the wild, to the, to, if they mm-hmm. try if they go back to this have style? Zelda as a, no, if they have oh. Zelda as a playable character and maybe you can swap because that was my original thought for tears of the kingdom was like, Oh, it was two player mm-hmm. Zelda. Well, not maybe well, two, two player two main characters, two main characters. Sorry. What the hell my just balloons, happened? My balloons went off when you wait. Yeah. When he waves like balloons yeah. go off. Yeah, Actually, I didn't. Wow. I need to turn it off on my Mac. But um, I thought because originally they said there's going to be online. Oh, I can do this too, Andre. Watch, I can do this. What? Yeah. Um. Oh, there you go. There we go. <laughs> the original thought I had for Tears of the Kingdom was that they originally said there was going to be online elements. Yeah. And a lot of people took that to mean either co-op or multiplayer or something. Mm-hmm. And my thought was like Zelda was going to be a party member. Yeah. And like, yeah. because you know how you could use the Wolf Link amiibo in the first one and it would like go hunt for you or yeah, a flank enemies for you or whatever. Yeah. I thought you're going to be able to use Zelda as a second character and you're going to be able to swap between and she would be like, Oh, I have a bow and I I can do all these like I can do things that Link maybe can't and we're going to have to swap or like Link's going to have to press a button over here and then you're going to have to swap to Zelda and go pull a lever over here so Link can get through a you know like solve puzzles with Yeah, when players. when I first saw the Bro, trailer why would you Tears need Zelda Kingdom? to do that though? You have three colored links that can do that. <sighs> Uh, sorry, I hate Triforce Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> when I first saw the trailer for Tears of the Kingdom, I thought the same thing too. Like, I'm like, I'm like, oh shit, are we gonna be able to actually like yeah. play as like Link? And then I I saw this like I saw this message of I think it was um uh, Breath of the Wild Zelda, but it was like eight different photos, and she had like different hairstyles, mm-hmm. and like there was a there was a caption, and and I guess it got deciphered where like every first letter of the caption spelled out this is a hint so mm-hmm. everyone thought like you just said Corey, how we make it we might get a breath of the wild inspired zelda game where like we are mm-hmm. playing as her and like and like we mm-hmm. have to kind of go save link and yeah. like like you said like maybe this is kind of the first run of like let's see if the community likes a full-blown Zelda game. And if they do, we might do like an open world because I'm on yeah. board and I would, I would love like, say for example, if like, if we start the game with the, with the, um, the Hyrule shield and the master sword and something happens to link and then Zelda dons the, the sword and shield and like, she's the heroine. Right. Mm-hmm. I would love that. It'd be, it'd be, yeah. it'd be super cool. 
I don't know I if I'd like Zelda with the sword and shield though. I I want well, her to have something different. Give her that's completely her. Her, yeah. her magic. To her. Yeah. I thought yeah. hers would be like the bow, like she uses at the end of Breath of the Wild, or like mm-hmm. even the, even if she has a sword, it would be like the white sword or something. The doesn't she the use rapier. a rapier in Twilight Princess? She uses a rapier in yeah. Twilight Princess and yeah. Hyrule Warriors One. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, thank you. She was using yeah. and she was using the bow in what um as Tetra and um. In, in Wind Waker, uh, Wind Waker. Wind Waker. Yeah, she, well. I think she also has a Shamitzer and Wind Waker too. But so like she you know, has stuff that she can use, but yeah, but like that's she has just, her own skill set. Yeah. yeah, and that's a testament to like if she was alone, she could still kick butt. Yeah, and 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 she's mad, and she's a, she's a she's a she's magic of like wi- yeah. wizards. She's the yeah. of wizards. Yeah, yeah. So like I would not be appalled to a, a full blown. Zelda game. I wouldn't. I'd be. I. I invited actually. The I invited. um, the other thought too, going back to what you're talking about with her hairstyles, mm-hmm. was like people were saying her hair is shorter. Yeah, and that would make it easier for the for them to do asset swaps for like hoods and and bandanas and stuff between yeah. her and Link. Yeah. So like you wouldn't. There wouldn't be much like asset flipping. No. Right. I mean, like, and they and they kind of have the same character design, like a few differences, but. They could easily do it if they if they wanted to if they wanted to yeah. revisit the world again, which I don't think they want to. I think I think Tears of the Kingdom was a beautiful yeah. ending to that Hyrule, in my mm-hmm. opinion. But um, I think going back to it for a third time would really would really deflate a lot of people. Yeah. So Echoes of Wisdom uh, comes out. What is September 26th? I think it said. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, Along, yep, that. alongside the gold Nintendo Switch Lite. So I have, <laughs> I don't understand if this is kind of the last we were all like, why give the Switch Lite another? Console? Because it's all the thing that sells, and they'll double. People will double, triple dip. I have three Switches. Okay, <laughs> so isn't isn't the Switch and none of them are special? Hundred and fifty so. million units sold. It's at yeah. like a hundred. It's at like a hundred and thirty-four. The last time we talked about it on Power Block, but that was That's in right. February or March. I think so, it's gone up. To, I think it's gone up to a hundred and fifty. We'll know. We'll know in July mm-hmm. what they're yeah. at. Uh, and I'm sure this. Uh, I'm sure this direct sold a few more if you haven't bought them already. Um, anyways, we went into Just Dance. I don't really care about Just Dance. Anybody care about? How about we Me just skip? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just skip to uh so this was this was like i figured we would see this game so lego horizon adventures which was announced at summer game fest the trailer was also shown here they put the words playstation on the screen which was nuts at a nintendo conference mm-hmm. it was nuts it, there's it, a it, lot there's a lot of controversy that i saw when the first when this first dropped on twitter of all places shocker. that exactly exactly and the amount of people that were screaming on top of roof saying no one asked for this no one asked for this and i'm like look i get it no one asked for this game but think of all the games that you asked for but no one else did and you are happy that are out so i'm i'm in the i'm in the in the boat of just be happy we have it like Mm -hmm. i'll be honest am (laughs) i gonna get this game Possibly, like it looks fun. It like it legitimately looks like it'd be a fun yeah, game it looks to try, fun. right? It's, and mm-hmm. I'm yeah, I'm currently playing uh Forbidden West. So this game, like I love the Horizon games; they're a mm-hmm. lot of fun. And I said that maybe this is geared towards more a younger audience who wants because yeah. if they play this, they'll be like, oh, what 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 other Horizon games are there? And then they'll get the other games, right? And the other games <laughs> can be very overwhelming in the sense of there's so much going on at one point that that you can't understand it because you have to shoot this part to get that part to get the armor right there's a lot going on so this is probably geared towards younger children or people that just enjoy a lego game yeah the thing i've been hearing on on some playstation podcasts that i listen to is Mm -hmm. that and i i have come to agree with them playstation has done a great job of growing up with their audience but unlike Nintendo, they haven't had a they haven't done a great job of, you know, curating content for new younger audience to grow yeah. up. Mm-hmm. And yep. so the the same way that they're looking at PC 
<clears throat> to put their older single player games on PC to draw them into a PlayStation ecosystem for a sequel. Mm-hmm. I think it's things like this, and they might be looking for this at the Switch and potentially the Switch 2 for things like this, or maybe even potentially something like Ratchet and Clank or um, um, Astrobot at some yep. point. Yeah. Putting it on a kid friendly device to draw them in. Yeah. To right. The and I mean, like, yeah. IP. This is kind of the start of that because, like, they could do just saying the, like, the quote Lego verse. They could do like Lego Jack and Daxter, Lego Brush and Clank, Lego Sly Cooper, right? Like mm-hmm. all of the really cool yep. old games that Lego I kind of Uncharted grew. would be cool. Ex- exactly, right? So, oh man, I would play the hell out of some Lego Uncharted. I that'd know. be that'd be that'd be <laughs> high key, super sick. But this is, I think, the start of a beautiful relationship that Nintendo and PlayStation are kind of moving mm-hmm. towards in 2025. Yeah. And everybody keeps looking at like the 90s relationship that they hated each other up and through like the 2010s or whatever but it's like both leadership changes both leadership situations have changed multiple times since that happened yeah and like i'm sure like furikawa nintendo's president now was like 16 years old when that happened right and Mm -hmm. so like he doesn't probably care about any of that and no i think I think Horizon is a great start for this lake. Like if if they were to continue doing Lego games in their franchises, like what better game to do than Horizon with dinos like the the robot dinosaurs? Because now you can like, oh, we can make the robots in Legos. They already sell the long neck ones, right? The tall well, neck. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> You're dude, it's been forever since I played the first one and I haven't played the second one yet. My only platinum trophy though. That first one. I love that. Oh, flex. I find them too. It was a great game to platinum hard, though. Yeah. The the hardest one was knocking over all those stupid wooden deer because I didn't know where they were. <laughs> Google, man. Google. I did the I, same I, thing. Well, I, I was like, I, I have no idea where these are. <laughs> I did. Yep. But like there was one that was like hidden. And even when I Google searched it, I couldn't find it. And it was like behind where is this it? house. It was yeah. like behind this house and it was dark. And I was like, oh, my God. Uh, But yeah, anyways. Lego Horizon Adventures coming holiday 2024 to PlayStation, PC, and Switch. No yeah. Xbox version. <laughs> Xbox kind of got screwed out of a lot of these. Uh, like they even got screwed out of the uh, the Marvel Capcom mm-hmm. collection. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Hmm. And then this rolled into the the cat that just won't go away. This is okay. This is a perfect example of a game I feel like will not perform well on the Switch. I, hmm. I, uh, in a sense I of feel... graphically, graphically, graphically. I, I just, I feel like Stray has already had its time mm-hmm. in the sun. Now, granted, it'll probably be wrong and it'll probably sell six billion copies, but it makes Book Club relevant this month, like Pat said in our chat. Yep, very very excited. Book yeah. Club this this month is Stray. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Stray is coming um, to Switch, and mm-hmm. um, man, that cat just won't go away. Just, well, that's the thing about them orange cats; they're gonna get your attention. Yeah. It's true. I have one, and he is the neediest cat in the world. Then we went to uh, Hobbit Animal Crossing. Uh, aka Tales of the Shire, a Tales Lord of the, the Rings Shire. tale, a Lord of the Rings uh, game. Yeah, Ashish, Ashish, Ashish. yeah. I'm not a. I don't care. I I don't care about Lord of the Rings one bit. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. Same. I mean, I've, it's cool I, that they have a cozy Lord of the Rings game. Considering sure, it's always war and. I war. I agree, mm-hmm. and I think that little Hobbit town is probably the perfect setting for that. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, you mean all the Shire? Whatever. <laughs> uh, that place in the hills. <laughs> the place with the round doors. Yeah. <laughs> Look, man, I watched I watched Fellowship of the Ring for a half hour three separate times and fell asleep all three times. And I'm just like, really? I, that movie I'm not so good. I can't do it now. So that's fair. That's fair. Uh, that's it's one of those IP that just I can't. It's I, I've chosen to skip. Ace Attorney Investigations is also coming. Yes! Jesus Christ. Yes! Holy. 
You do not know how freaking excited I am about this game, guys. This game <laughs> now has I do. the only Ace Attorney game that has never been released in America. Really? And it's finally coming. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Investigations 2 was never released in America. And so finally we're getting the official translation, the official game, and now you can play literally every single one of these series in this generation. Where's our Professor Layton? I don't care about Ace Attorney. 2015. Or 2025, sorry. (laughs) It's 2025. Yeah, the world of Steam, I think, is what it's called Mm -hmm. or something. You don't care about Ace Attorney, but Ace Attorney is He's like, he's like, shh, let people have nice things. Mm, this. <laughs> this is a very good series. Like, the characters, absolutely fantastic writing. Mm-hmm. It's the mysteries will, you know, twist and turn, and you might not even see what's coming until it finally hits. Mm. It's, it's a great series. I highly, highly recommend this series. Is there okay, an order well, to play this in? play them in uh probably original trilogy um before the uh before the apollo trilogy but then the great ace attorney chronicles and ace attorney investigations could go either like Mm. they're not really that tied to the rest of them cool okay cool we got uh after this anybody else have anything else to say about ace attorney investigations Pat no. was clearly very excited. I'm, I, ex- I'm excited. My friends over at Toge are excited about this one. So they will uh, probably be spoiler cast sometime in the future. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start doing more of those. I'm very excited about mm-hmm. that actually because I have actually plotted out some things, and Pat will have to get together and talk about games that are coming up, so I know which ones to circle. Got um, it. Coming out after this is, uh, well, not after this. It, it was just next in the direct. The 100 Line Last Defenders. I have a feeling that this again. game is a is a um, a visual novel. It's uh, made by people who do visual novels. It's okay, yeah, yeah, made by yeah. the Dank and Rampa team. Yeah, it looked like it. And then during battle, it looked like uh, like an RTS game. It's a uh, Tower Defense. Yes. Tower Defense, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's made by the creators of Danganronpa, or just recently the uh, Rain Code Mystery Detect or Master Detective Archives, mm-hmm. um, and it's it's still got these fifteen students at you know in a school, mm-hmm. but instead of them being in a murder game, now they're trying to defend the school from some catastrophe and monsters that are attacking it. The only visual novel I've ever played, I think, was. Digimon Survive, and that was it. Okay. Uh, I haven't played that one, so I can't say whether it's going to be like it or not, but I'm going to guess no. But the Danganronpa series is usually is a very mature series. It's mm-hmm. There's a lot of death, a lot of gore, um, and a lot of uh, suggested themes. <laughs> yeah, this game looks like we're if you make one wrong move, a student could like die. That's what I'm worried about. I yeah. feel like there's going to be permadeath. Yeah. Oh yeah. And that's oh, going to yeah. affect the story. Yeah. Yeah. After that, we got another anime game. Uh, the remake of romancing saga Two: revenge of the seven. That's Let me tell you, there are. Game. Yeah, it is. Sure. It is. Look at it. Romancing saga is not an anime. It looks like an anime game. That's the point. The art style. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like an anime game, but it's just it's just okay. a, it's just an old romancing school. saga is not an anime. Everybody, there you go. It. It's a JRPG. I'm you racist, slap you, <laughs> racist. There's just there's a lot of um, thousand year old witches in this game. We'll say <laughs> perfect. <laughs> no, uh, romancing Pat saga was a very non-linear rpg experience it's probably one of the most non-linear rpg experiences you can get on from the japan to be perfectly honest and the battle system's very it has something they call the glimmer it's your character will have like a light bulb flash above their head and that will 
give them like a random skill that they can keep later on. And you don't get like stat points. Stats just randomly upgrade. There's a lot of random factors mm-hmm. in the saga game that make it both like people who really like to strategize. They love this kind of thing, but at the same time, if you're looking for a traditional RPG experience, this is... Mm, it's not quite your Final Fantasy. We'll put it that way. That's fair. Yeah. I don't know. It looks I. It looks cool. Like, it looks like something... It looks really cool. I just... Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. There's several other JRPG series that I would really like to play. Like, I don't know. Xenoblade, Trails, Tales, you know, mm-hmm. Final Fantasy. <laughs> so, Square all right. Phoenix, what are you What are you doing? Remake Xenogears. Yeah, I know, right, man. If we got a Xenogears remake, I would, I would have, I would. That would get me to spend some money on a collector's edition. Uh, Speaking of uh, side tangent, I actually had the liberty of playing Xenoblade Chronicles One and Two recently. How do you like it? When I play... Okay, so... Some context. When I played Super mm-hmm. Smash Bros., I always, like, wondered, like, who Shulk was and, like, why he was kind of, like, in the game. And I was like, well, he's clearly from Xenoblade. I know that. And then even, like, in uh, Breath of the Wild, like, you could get Rex's outfit. And I'm like, why are these games so popular? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I am like, don't get it. And then a friend of mine let me borrow Xenoblade Chronicles, the first one. And I beat it. And I was like, I understand now. I was like, I get mm-hmm. it. I was mm-hmm. like, I I full blown get it now. I'm like, Xenoblade Chronicles 1 was one of like the best games I've played in a long time. Long yeah. time. It was it's... really the story, characters, growth, everything about mm-hmm. that game. I was like, mm-hmm. th- I was like, I'm mad that I, that I've never played it in, until now. It was really good. Yeah, Once definitely I uh, played two and three. Yeah, I th- I hear three is amazing. Three two, is so I good. will say, I didn't like two that much. I felt like two. Felt. Two is the worst of the of the three numbered games as far as I, I yeah can, I've heard as that as far as I hear two and was then, the most anime out of all and the I think games. I think that's what killed it for me the the battle system was dope but just the anime tropes I'm like <laughs> there's way too there, many there, man. there's a lot of big breasted women in that game I'm like there's it doesn't need like I get it like I yeah anyway Cosmos is there though sorry Cosmos, Cosmos. and Talos. From uh, Xenoblade Saga. From Xenoblade Saga. Play as, uh, oh, you okay. Get okay. them as a blade. Uh, oh, give me okay, a remake right. of those games, too. Oh, give me those games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then three. Give me all I the still, Xeno games. Three I still have to play. But yeah, just uh, that was kind of my extent with uh, the uh, Xeno games. I've heard is is Xeno Tales or Gears before? The... Xeno, Ge- Xeno Gears is three ties directly into Xeno Gears somehow. Okay. The so Noah the Noah the main character. Yeah. Like that name was the code name for Xenogears. It was called Project Noah. Oh, cool. When they were when they were developing mm-hmm. it, and mm-hmm. like Noah is on a because Square owns Xenogears, so they can't officially say it. But Noah is a descendant of the the main character of the first of Xenogears. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Xenoge- okay, cool. Xenogears was supposed to go through uh, six games, mm-hmm. um, but of course they only did the first one. Yeah, okay. and then Xeno Saga was supposed to be five, also games. six games <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, five or six games, and they only got through the the what three? I think they yeah, they, they had to end it at three. Yeah, yeah. The they, second one did not do as well, so they're like, okay, yeah. we're finishing the story. Mm-hmm. That's and then Xeno Blade then. Bandai Namco sold Monolith to Nintendo and then they mm-hmm. got to make Xenoblade Chronicles, which wasn't even supposed to come here. Uh, Thank you, was... Operation Rainfall. I know, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I remember that. Where's where's our where's our Pandora's Tower remake? Mm-hmm. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't that take off? Uh, that because we got good. that was the last of the three games. I know that game was not very good. What was the other one was Last Story, right? Yep. Last yeah. story, Xenoblade Chronicles, and Pandora's Tower. Tower. Man, I remember at the time, I, the last story was the best one out of those three, in my opinion. Um, but I haven't played Xenoblade in a while, so good game. All right, all right, Laron. We're we're about to get you real excited. 
Mm-hmm. Cosmic Year 20X9 Galactic Federation Research Facility is how this trailer opens up. As soon as you said as Galactic, as I saw Federation, Galactic Federation, I was done. Like, I was done. <laughs> I thought oh, yeah. I knew what it was. As soon as I saw the text, I'm like, I'm like, there's no fucking way this is what I think I'm like, it is. And, I'm and, like, that's the Metroid font. That's and I was Metroid saying, font. I was saying to the guys before we started, before you got in here, I'm like, I thought this was two or three, right? And yeah, then I thought this they was... would not say the last thing for two or three that well, well I, I thought they would have done two and three mm-hmm. and then a trailer for four is what that's I what i thought is i thought they were yeah. gonna shadow drop two and three and be like hey you can purchase it now xyz right so but then at the end of this trailer when it shows the guy and like the two metros behind him i was like who's this guy and then the words silent. pop up and i was like mm-hmm. holy christ i'm like for eight that years is eight Silux, years mm-hmm. eight years you guys teased us and then said nothing. And then today you're like, here's gameplay. And I was like, this is the craziest thing. About, like this. Is also, nuts. this game looks this game looks incredibly like Halo 4. <laughs> Which, <laughs> well, here's the thing. Like a lot of the team from Halo 4 actually went to work at Retro to do the combat design. Um. So that's I think that's why this game looks a lot like Halo 4. It feels very Halo. It feels yeah. very Halo. Yeah. Yeah. Halo, also, but you get to scan things. I can't believe this game is running on Switch and how good it looks. Like well, you people think... people are speculating this was actually Switch successor trailer. I, I mean, I feel like I feel like it's coming to Switch. I feel like mm-hmm. this is a cross gen title or like if you play it on Switch 2, it'll run at 60 frames in a higher resolution sort of mm-hmm. thing, right? So, th- so that was going to be a question I was going to ask you guys, is do you think this is either like a day one Switch 2 launch, or is it like you can buy it for Switch 1 and Switch 2? I this think it's a day. I think they're holding it off for the Switch 2 launch. Yeah, I think this Same. is a day one. Same. I think yeah. this is, a this is our of breath wild of the wild situation. Yeah, for sure. yeah, that's exactly how I think it is. I think, yeah. I think this is, de- and the reason I say that is because we have a lot of 2025 games, but they're all like January, right? Mm-hmm. And like they've they told us that they're like, hey, like Donkey Kong comes out, I think January 15th, if I'm if I'm mm-hmm. not mistaken. Uh, this game j- just says 2025, so there's no day. So I'm I'm thinking. This is definitely a Breath of the Wild. Like, yeah. like mm-hmm. you can buy the Switch Two Day One or buy a bundle with this included. And I'm, I'm like, I will, I will, I will I live on the think... street for a couple months if I have to just to get this. Game. <laughs> I'm, I'll I'm, live on the street. I, uh, I yeah. still, I think this is going to be the perfect companion piece to whatever the 3D Mario game that's launching with it is. I think those are the two launch games. Honestly, I too. I I think it's going to be Metroid, and if they're doing a Mario or the Donkey Kong 3D Donkey Kong, if it's assumed, Mm -hmm. that's Mm -hmm. going to be your uh, that's going to be your fall title. Yeah, but no, it's just again after eight years of not saying anything, seeing that font pop up, I was like, Mm -hmm. "Holy cow!" Like, like there's no way, there's no way they're doing this right now. Yeah, Laron, how do you feel? How you feeling? How are you Um, feeling? What about about Metroid Prime Four or just overall? That, Metro about Prime? Metroid Prime Four, I want to, I want to know. Okay, this is, so this is why you're here. This mm-hmm. thing, okay, so this game looked absolutely gorgeous from what we saw, and yes, mm-hmm. I do believe that there's actual, this is actual gameplay and stuff like that. I, I do believe. I don't think they were just like tease us with a HUD and whatnot, and you know, and yeah. not, and not be legit and stuff like that. It looked great. Um, I did like, I did like how they're they're incorporating a lot of story elements from the from the past Prime games to let us know. That this is a continuation and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that I was they really happy. Rated hunters. Yes, exactly. Yeah, um, because like that's the one that you know, like a lot of people do not. I feel like there's a there's a section of the Metroid population that just do not know about Metroid Prime hunters, and I mean, like, also they incorporated uh, Federation Force. Yeah, yeah Federation that game's Force awesome. Too. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that I far. Like Federation Force. Yeah. Can I ask where's the hunter? reference in this because i played that one for, for the yes the, uh, the, the person that walked through the door with the two metroids yeah, yeah. that was silux 
the that's why he looks so familiar i was like i know that dude oh okay that mm-hmm. makes so much more sense now and then if you got the secret ending in corruption yeah. there's a ship that looks just like silux's ship chasing after samoth at the very end and if you got the secret ending in federation force a hunter breaks in and hatches a metroid uh which was confirmed to be silux who did that as well so this takes place after all those games because silux has his metroids Mm -hmm. that are trained for him which is the only people who were ever able to train the metroids was a specific type of chozo not even all the chozos could train metroids oh yeah okay yeah as soon as i saw him i was like i know this dude but i couldn't i couldn't put a finger on it silent thank you so much now that makes a lot more the reason why i thought this was two or three is because of the space pirates and i'm like oh they're they're back i was like oh okay you know this is probably two or three and then i saw him and i was like wait a minute i was like this doesn't feel like two he yeah he has a weapon that literally drains your energy i mean he's like a human metroid himself that that was his thing, yeah. So, I I think the game looks really good. Oh yeah, it, oh yeah. It looks it looks really smooth. It looks really fast paced, and it looks very. I'm I'm glad they showed the scanning stuff because I know that was like especially the later Prime games that was part of the stuff that was like not missing but wasn't as prevalent as good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, do you guys think that? sometime during this year we're gonna get two and three mm-hmm. yeah? Okay. yeah 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 i, I mean think, uh, it would be stupid maybe, yeah. not to i'm i'm kind of shocked that they didn't announce it with this but there will be Me there too. will probably be two more directs between now and the time this game comes out at least yeah uh i would say whatever the fall direct is um i think the fall direct is going to be the switch two presentation and Maybe. announcing a few Switch 2 stuff. Yeah, I I think yeah, I think they'll probably start with Switch stuff and then they'll talk about the successor, mm-hmm. right? And then they'll do a big blowout in January like they did for the Switch originally. Um, yeah, I think uh the next couple ones might be like some pitter patter, some loose ends and then the one in fall kind of right before the holiday season, right before the new year is like some like surprise announcements and then like maybe the last 10 minutes or like 15 they'll like actually show us like the switch to and like be like coming mm-hmm. x date 2025 and all that jazz mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah so how do we how do we feel overall about this direct um it had some lows but what but the highs were pretty high in my opinion the highs were really high in my opinion <laughs> Yeah, I f- right. I feel like this is one of the most solid directs that we've had in a while, and I say that as a person is that basically watches practically all the at least all the mainstream directs because I don't I don't always watch the indie directs, I don't always watch the uh, developer directs and stuff like that, but I always watch like the main Nintendo directs or mm-hmm. or the directs that spot that spotlight a particular game and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I will honestly say like you know um, like this like it's basically a is it was almost like they had they had like my name stamped on this direct you know um because i mean like there was a lot of stuff here that just really got my attention it was really like okay i'm i gotta buy that okay i guess i guess i can't pack up the switch just yet you know um and mm-hmm. things like that because like uh because like right now like my switch barely turns on you know like uh like like right now it it, it it's barely a commodity after after i after i um stopped playing mario versus donkey kong after i beat that you know like um like i was kind of done because i didn't go back to mario wonder which i should go back to but you know um this this direct right here was like okay man like my switch my switch is gonna gonna overheat <laughs> yeah i turned my i turned my launch switch on the other day to because like i was like my daughter's getting old enough to like want to show interest in this stuff and she is obsessed with like peach and zelda and and stuff like that like she is always trying to play with my amiibos over there and uh to the point where like i ordered a peach amiibo for her birthday so she would stop playing, so she would mm-hmm. stop playing with mine That's super um cool. <laughs> really only for that reason not because i love my daughter just because she'd stop touching my stuff <laughs> um right. and i was like man if i could just load this up with like you know maybe <clears throat> maybe like yoshi's crafted world and 
you know, some of the easier, simpler games, maybe she would show it. But man, I turned it on. It was like, I'm like, oh, nope. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Packing you up. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, but my OLED still works it, like just whatever they did to change whatever's inside that thing. It just it just keeps going. So I actually got my brand new OLED. Uh... You have the Zelda one, right? I do. Yeah, I got it. Um, So I had my launch one for seven, like since it came out. And um, uh, at my work, uh, we had the Zelda one. And um, Mm -hmm. like for a month, I'm like, I'm going to trade mine in. I'm going to get it. I'm going to. This is the day. Every every day. I'm like, this is the day. This day I do it. But then I just thought to myself, I'm like, there's no point. It's the last year. Hold on. You're good. Mm -hmm. You've been doing it for seven years. Who cares? Mm -hmm. Right. And then one day it was gone from the back room. And I was like, damn it. I was like, oh, well, you know, it's meant to be. It's meant to be. Birthday comes around. Uh, I'm going out with a a friend and he has a little bag with him. And we meet up and he's like, hi, birthday. I'm like, thank you. Thank you. And I look in the bag and it's the uh, it's the it's the Nintendo Switch OLED Tears of the Kingdom edition switch box and i'm like okay maybe you know maybe he put some socks in there just uh, I was like a gag you know haha right like yeah no, no no friend does this shit for me i was i was like there's no way in in like in heaven that this dude bought me the switch so he so we sit down we eat um he goes to the washroom and i'm my curiosity is killing me so i put the bag on the table i take the box out i open the box and it's a goddamn Nintendo OLED Tears of the Kingdom edition. And he comes back and I'm like, how much did you fucking pay for this dude? And he's like, happy birthday. And I'm like, I don't even know what to say to you. Like I brought it home. My fiance is like, well, I got freaking, you know, I got outshine hard. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, damn, <laughs> I was like, damn. So yeah, so I've been, I've been in love with that for the uh, past couple months. And um, yeah, just from this direct today, I'm like, there's no kind of stopping until until the Switch 2 comes out at this point. So mm-hmm. I'm excited. Um, we got some good games this direct. Again, we got some lows, but the highs were high. So mm-hmm. um, the Switch, I can probably say and speak for most people, is still in the limelight for a couple of years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nintendo isn't going to cut the support like no. immediately no. for this. No, no, no. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. But, uh, for me... For me, this this lineup, this lineup spoke to me. Like I love that I was surprised by a lot of things that came. Like I was mm-hmm. not expecting a Mario and Luigi. Mm-hmm. I was not yeah. expecting them to remake Donkey Kong. Mm-hmm. I was not. Well, I kind of expected Metroid, but I was not expecting a new Zelda game. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I sure as hell was not expecting Ace Attorney Investigations. Yeah, like. Mm-hmm. The, a lot of these games like screamed at me like I am going to be on my switch for a very uh, for a good chunk of the next, you know, the rest of this year. Yeah, I felt like this mm-hmm. is was this was Nintendo's like hold my beer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I feel, yeah. I, feel, I feel like they were like, OK, everyone else <laughs> had their turn, you know, hold my beer. I'll be right back. I got to go. <laughs> show them yeah so that's the way i feel too because like the the narrative the narrative all year has been like nintendo doesn't have anything else coming you know like that's yeah been the they're narrative. quiet and, they haven't done and, anything and nintendo really slapped us over in, in, in the face with like a with like a metric handful of freaking like first party <laughs> titles and stuff yeah. like that we've got zelda games we've got metroid <laughs> games we've got freaking mario games we mm-hmm. you know a bunch you of know, classics like, coming back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a, a DK game is coming. You know, like it's like wow, like and and we had third party offerings. You know, we had third party offerings that we didn't that we didn't think were coming. Like, I mean, I know that Capcom fighting game collection is going to be across all platforms, but still, like Nintendo unveiled that first. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, stuff like they that. Did it. You, yeah, so yeah, you know, it's 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 wild. Like you know, like Ace Attorney. You know, uh, shoot, Capcom might as well. Capcom still. Uh, I I feel like Capcom has like a serious part partnership with nintendo i really feel like that yeah 
like the Game Boy, like the Game Boy Advance, the Game Boy Advance stuff that just hit in in and so the Game Boy, the mature, the mature GameCube stuff, you know, jeez, like I, <sighs> Nintendo, you know, it feels like they're ramping up. It really does. It's like it's like you know what? This might be the last year for the Switch, but it's gonna be the last. It's like it's gonna be the good damn last year. Yeah, it's not a it's not a Wii or a Wii U fizzle out. No. <laughs> yeah. And I, uh, yeah. And- I think that was everyone's concern is like after the tyrant of Tears of the Kingdom came out last year, it's like, oh, that was like the last thing they kind of had on the pipe. Like, yeah, but can't... we also got Mario Wonder last year, too. And then everybody's like, I know. Well, and Mario is, Wonder and Mario was, game Wonder of the year. Was, a, was a big surprise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry. It wasn't game of the year, but sorry. Tears of the Kingdom and Wonder were both nominated for game of the year. Right. So, yeah, uh-huh. that's just a testament to everyone being like, that's it. Like, you know, Nintendo mm-hmm. just gave us like they don't they can't top that and i feel like they're like hey guys like we still can just so <laughs> you like, guys we're know. not done yet <laughs> yeah, yeah i feel they, like they literally did the um the leo from the wolf of wall street where he's like i'm not leaving i'm not leaving <laughs> i think um i think this generation nintendo finally figured it all out i really do i mean yeah. i think that last year of the wii u they were clearly figuring it out because they held Mario Mario Odyssey was or was supposed to be a Wii U title. And then you know Breath of the Wild only came out on Wii U because it was promised, right? I mean it they they figured it out this mm-hmm. gen and they're continuing this. They're still mm-hmm. this 8-year-old machine with like 20-year-old technology in it is like still getting people excited for for things and I don't know. They they figured it out, man. I mean, look at all the I don't want to say copycats, but look at all the other handhelds that have come out since the Switch, right? <clears throat> yeah. And I think I mean, that's clearly like Steam Deck is, you know, I mean, they've straight up come out and said that the Switch influenced their decision to do a Steam do the Steam Deck. You're looking at what Microsoft is partially doing with the ROG Ally and probably their own handheld sometime next year. Uh, PlayStation rumored to be doing another handheld with in their incorporating their libraries into these handheld devices because you know very clearly Nintendo the Switch is doing something right like you can't split your audiences anymore games are too expensive to split your development costs mm-hmm. you know I mean we we're seeing that with PSVR two right now where like Sony just doesn't invest anything into that thing. Because that would split development costs from their AAA titles. And so, I don't know. This Direct was great. I saw a lot of great games I'm going to play. Mario & Luigi, kicking that off, I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm already I'm already swollen this Direct. Sign me up, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, New Zelda game in the Link's Awakening art style. I was like, yes, I don't, I don't care if you're, like, you know, fingering Bo Coblin's buttholes in this game. I will... <laughs> Like I will be the one doing it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then Prime 4 looks awesome. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I think that's Kudos, uh, Nintendo. I'm yes. glad that, you know, it's strange how there was always considered in the console war, Nintendo was never considered any player. And it. it's like, oh, it's always between Xbox and PlayStation. But it's like, maybe you guys aren't focusing on Nintendo because Nintendo's kicking your ass so far. You know, they're like overlapping you right now. Yeah, I feel like PlayStation and Xbox were just like the ones cheating on the test. And Nintendo was staying late after school, like figuring it all out and and like understanding how things work. And now Mm -hmm. that has paid off and they're and and they they have kind of cracked the code and they're like, oh, okay, I get it now. Right. Mm -hmm. And now Microsoft is is, we can churn out games without a development period of seven to ten years. Literally. Right. And they Mm -hmm. they take their time with games. Well, (laughs) well, no, 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 no. You can't say you can't say that because Metroid has been Metroid has been cooking for like forever. Metroid, though, had did go through a remake or they did come out like four years ago and say we have to scrap the original idea because it wasn't. working. Yeah. Yeah, but but I'm just I'm just saying a lot of these games honestly are co- we're cooking for a while though mm-hmm. if we're being honest. But but, but like even the even mm-hmm. the games that take forever they have things they have they have smart solutions to supplement those long waits in between titles right I mean yeah. not you know I I know 
we like to joke around that Nintendo likes to re-release the same game for sixty dollars every generation, but like we buy it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we exactly. are and buy it, that's dog, why, and, that, and that's and that's why they're not stopping. That's why they're not yeah. stopping. Yeah, uh, and like I think what they do is they take their time and they really make sure that when a game comes out, it doesn't need patches or updates like day one. Yeah, mm-hmm. how many like oh, first that, party that, titles come out with patches in uh, yeah. the Nintendo? Like, yeah, unless they got DLC, typically that's the only patch they need is the original game. Exactly. Oh, they right. To, they had to patch that. They had to patch that travesty of a Hyrule Warriors game. Well, they that's... still haven't patched. They still haven't patched that Pokemon game. <laughs> Technically, not Nintendo on either of those counts, but <laughs> uh, but but yeah, but Joey still, Tecmo you know, and Pokemon Company. <laughs> you know, stop, stop, stop. You know, stop filleting them. Come I on. I know. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just. Well, there it is. Hand. There's the Laron we love. There he is. <laughs> oh, I told you he'd be back. I know. Uh. But on that note, we've been going we've been going long enough. Uh, we're going to end it there. Thank yes, you sir. for joining us for this very special episode of the Boss Rush podcast. Andre, thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us here. Thank you for having me. I Where, was, no, bro, I missed you. I missed you, I miss you guys, miss too. You. I was I was very like when you sent me the discord thing, I was like, oh, baby. I was like, I was like, here we go. I was like, yeah. I like I like I just got done my run and i like raced home showered i'm like i was i was so excited to just talk about the direct because i was sitting here like all day like i need something to, to, to talk about and then <laughs> and w- w- what better to have like three people who are also on the same page as me so i had so much fun thank you guys um it was a blast to kind of be on here again it's definitely therapeutic it was. It was very, very nice to get everything like off my chest and, and like fangirl with mm-hmm. three other dudes about, about <laughs> Nintendo. Uh, Even well, if one was a closet fangirl. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. I'm looking at you, Ryan. Right. We know you're a closet Nintendo fan. Yeah. Huh? One day, it, just know it's okay. <laughs> you can come out one day. Uh, no one's going to judge you. <laughs> <laughs> Andre, you know you're welcome anytime you are available and we can make it work. You're yeah. welcome here anytime. You know I will you definitely uh, I'll definitely keep you posted on my schedule for stuff and then um if uh if I'm ever free, I'll try and hop back on here. Yeah. Uh Laron, Pat, thank you for your time tonight as well. I know mm-hmm. this is our week off from content, but here we are <laughs> recording. No days off, baby. Darn yeah. darn you Nintendo. Yeah. Uh, and everybody out there, thank you so much for watching and or listening. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. If you're wa- listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, leave us a nice review and a rating and all those things. If you're on Patreon, thank you. If you're not on Patreon, you should join us. Patreon.com slash Boss Network. There's a free tier. Try it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and or listening. And until next time, we love you. Goodbye. Bye. If you want to see how you can become a Patreon producer, head on over to patreon.com slash boss rush network. The Patreon producers for this month are Adriel Munger, Austin Campbell, Celeste Roberts, Christian S. Sana Dierig, Francisco Santilan, Matthew Keel, and Todd Oxtra. Thanks for your continued support of the Boss Rush Network.